Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture and I also do motivation one motivational video a day. So if you are already subscribed and been here for a while, thank you so much. Um, I am truly grateful for you, uh, and I'm also very thankful that you guys are really loving these sit-down videos. I'm doing one a day, um, which I'm so excited that you guys are loving. I wore this outfit, and I was like, what does this outfit say? And I said, you know what, bitch? This outfit says manifestation, making your dreams come true, bitch. That's what that motherfucking outfit says, okay? Myrtle, Myrtle, don't do this to me. Um, if you guys don't know, we have a co-host named Myrtle. She likes to remain off camera, but the bitch, all she does is poke faces, make faces, roll her eyes, and say little snide comments under her breath. Her stinky ass breath, by the way. Um, side note, Myrtle's my TV. But I picture just like a, like a, like a cute, um, you know, like a cute curly haired, she has glasses, she likes to wear like, um, like a, like a, um, an army uh, camouflage. Can you imagine her? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, uh, okay. So listen, you guys, I wanted to do this video, um, about making your dreams come true. So you guys, if you don't know this about me, I'm very much into crystals, into manifesting, into law of attraction. I, I, I've spoken about this before, but, um, uh, I think we've entered a new era where I, um, where I, my thoughts have changed a bit. So I wanted to share a little bit about this. Um, I wanted to share about comparing yourself to others and, uh, and asking yourself how come they can and I can't. So that is what today's video is about. So I think that this goes uh, for everything. It can be any type of job, relationship, friendship, uh, body goals, um, money, I mean, any type of thing that you can imagine, I think this can relate to it. So I think that one of the things I want to focus on is I can only speak of my experience, right? So for example, you know, um, there's been many times where I see other people succeeding in uh, my sort of field, you know, and I've, I've done this in school, you know, since I was in school, like, how come they can get better grades and I can't? And or, you know, how come, you know, they got the promotion and I can, how, you know, blah, 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 you know, even here on YouTube, like, oh my God, we literally did the same video. How come they got a bunch more views and I, you know, uh, things like that. So um, I have for the past year and stuff and like half, I have really, really trained my mind. I've been doing this since very little because I was always taught that anything is possible. If you really put your mind to it, have faith in God and my, that's my higher power, whatever your higher power is, that's, you know, that's you, this is me and focus and really visualize it. Now, um, I believe that I have been doing things a little bit wrong and I want to talk about what comparing yourself to others and how that prevents you from making your dreams come true. So I see this all the time in people and I still do it sometimes, but I'm getting really good at it actually. I believe in the mindset that whatever you put out, you receive, right bitch? So Myrtle, you have two seconds to shut the fuck up, okay? You are rude, you steal my food, okay? and you're trying to convince my dogs that you are their mother. I gave birth to them, okay? Not you, Myrtle. So sit your ass back down, okay? No, don't throw things at me, Myrtle. Ah, this bitch, no. This is where you start respecting me. Anyways, um, sorry guys. Um, what was I saying? See, what was I saying? No, um, on the for real though, I think that whatever you put out, you receive, right? So when you are focusing on other people's successes, you are 
not focusing on yours. You are not allowing yourself. Look at this. He's going to get inside. Look at this. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he's hot. Um, when you focus on other people's successes, you then start comparing yourself to them, right? And everybody who is getting blessed probably deserves it, right? So you can't question whether or not how come it happens to them and not me. You can't sit there in your judgment chair and say, well, I do this better or I'm a better human or this. We don't know what everyone does behind closed doors, right? There's a song uh, from Mary Mary called titled The God in Me. If you're religious and stuff, like you should listen to it. But it's basically like, <coughs> oh, <coughs> it's basically like, but, you know, they see me winning. They see me getting and they see me this. But what they don't know is when I get behind closed doors, I hit the floor, you know, praying and, 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 and putting everything in faith, right? So they don't know what type of work you do behind the scenes, right? Um, and that's a very important thing that I want you to, to, to really analyze. It is very important to just allow people to win, okay? I'm not saying to win uh, over you. I'm just saying like when they're winning in life, you should just send them good vibes because that same vibes you are receiving. So if you're sitting in the sidelines, hating on them and being like, well, I don't understand why they, they're getting this. I mean, I, I do it a lot better. How come it's not happening to me? You're just going to be receiving more negativity and they're going to just be receiving more positivity because, excuse me, that is the law of attraction. What you put out, you receive. So I taught this to a friend recently and I told her that, you know, instead of comparing yourself or questioning or being jealous or any of those things, it's important to be grateful that other people are winning. Even if you don't believe it, one day you will really start believing it. When you start being happy for others and when you start sending them good vibes, trust me, you will start receiving them, okay? Some people get to a certain place that you want to get to faster. Listen, I've been on YouTube now in February for seven years, okay? Some people go on and, and release one video and boom, you know, they have 5,100 more followers than I do, right? But... And it would bother me in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. You know, I like to keep it real. But now I'm just sort of like, it's it's a, in perfect timing, right? Maybe right now you don't deserve it. Maybe right now you're not living your best potential. Maybe right now you are not having great feelings inside of you. Because when you are not uh, coming from a place of love and positivity and 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 actually good vibes, you're not gonna receive it. So how come you should be blessed if you're not doing the work? You know what I mean? So for many years, I look back and I'm like, I was just like a little, you know, I and I wouldn't say many years because I was taught very young to actually be happy for others, but of course I am human. So I think for, you know, there's been times, you know, more, more than a lot, I would say, um, where, you know, I was not coming from a place of positivity or love or even being good. I was coming from a negative place, a dark place. So how do you expect light and blessings to come your way if you're living in that energy? You just can't do it, right? So once I started to really focus on actually being happy for people's successes, for people's happiness, I started to see that, you know, my life was changing and... I can't worry about if people deserve it, if people are good enough, if people, that's not my job. My only job is to work hard for myself, to put in the work, to be happy for others, and to then just receive my blessings, okay? And 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 I, I really truly believe that all of our dreams can become reality, but we also have to be good inside. Because yes, sometimes good things happen to bad people, but trust me, it won't last, okay? But if you want your ultimate blessings, inside has to be a good home for your blessings. But if it's a dark and nasty and negative home, the blessings are not going to enter. And that is a really good sentence I just said. Trademark. But you know what I mean? You need to you need to have a good home for your for your blessings. And I just, I feel like, there's a lot of different negativity on social media. 
there's a lot of, um, there's no trust, you know what I mean? And one thing that I will, I will say, and I, I say this in almost every single video, but I think it's very important to not uh, tell your dreams to people. Um, keep it to yourself, you know what I mean? And one thing that I saw today, I don't, I don't remember her name, but she was talking about how um, your time will come, but you have to put in the work because you are not special. And that opened my eyes so much and I was like, oh my God, that is true. I'm not special. I'm Why am I more special than you, than, than you, than you, than you? I'm more special than you, Myrtle. That's <laughs> on, on God I am, you know? But um, I, I, I do believe that we have to like take ourselves off that pedestal of like, we deserve it, we deserve it. No, if you're not putting in the work emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically, why should you be chosen for the blessings? That's just what I'm saying. I'm keeping it real here, honey. And that's a lesson I didn't I didn't learn until very recently, about a year and a half or two, where I really started just focusing on my blessings, focusing on my gratitude and being happy for those who just received their blessings and their abundance. So if you want to receive all of that, you got to make a home for it, okay? Because blessings and positivity don't do negativity and ugliness, okay? Point blank. Um, but that is just what uh, a little bit of a teaching that I, I really, I think life taught me that, to be very honest. Um, some people ask me, uh, you know, where I get my information. I'm telling you guys, I really, I just... When I make these type of videos, I really do let and and you know sorry if I'm mentioning God, but you know in case you don't believe, but or you know um, I, I I truly let God, the universe. Um, I I always pray that I could you know reach at least one person, and they can feel the light that I'm sending, and that is sort of like my intention when I say these things, and and it really all everything that I say comes out of my heart. Half of the times, I don't know what I'm going to talk about until I sit down and I'm going to press play. Today I did because, you know, I, I wore this very, like, spiritual, positive outfit. But other than that, you guys, no, I don't I don't plan it. I just let my heart talk because I, I love the fact that you guys are really receiving these videos. And as much as we love tea and we love pop culture, gossip and stuff, I think we also have to realize that... Um, behind everything that's like stupid, you know, that's like, it, it, it is what it is. It's entertaining, but it doesn't, you know, feed us. And I think that um, it feeds us entertainment, but I also want to feed you spiritually, honey. Um, so that was the video of the day. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I thank you for every single blessing. Um, my links are in the description. If you want to check them out to TikTok, um, my cameo, anything you want to check out, make sure you do my Instagram. Um, let me know what you guys want me to talk about next. I think I'm going to be doing one of these sit down videos every day. I'm also going to, uh, announce something pretty cool soon, but I'm still working on that. Um, so I will let you guys know then, but I love you all and I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.